Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Tara. Hope everyone is well. Okay, who's gonna be next? Death card, Scorpio. It's time for your readings for the month of August. So, this reading will be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your turn and not mine. I just read the cards. So, that being said, it does not resonate. Check your Moon Rising or Venus sign readings if you think you may want something that might resonate a little bit better. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. Might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And our friends, the dear cross watchers, are always welcome here. So, without further ado, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, August 2020. Scorpio, where are you here? Queen of Swords in the reverse. Somebody's got an attitude. Could be you. Could be the person you're dealing with. Somebody's not happy. No. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? King of Pentacles. Oh gosh, you thought they were a catch. You feel like you want to give them the world or they could give you the world, vice versa. You give each other the world. Probably have a good job. Maybe have some money in the bank. They're set. They got their crap together. I like it. I like it. What do you think of them? High Priestess in the reverse. Oh. Mm. The connection's there, but if somebody's not acknowledging it, it's not as strong for one person as it is the other. What do you want from them? Four of Pentacles. Uh, hmm. Throw a clarifier on that. It's pretty open-ended. and They could be an extremely private person and maybe you just want them to cut loose and let go possibly we'll see how do they feel about you four of swords they may feel like you're just in a period of rest like you're fresh out of a state of heartbreak maybe you're just like chill time possibly what do they think of you page of cups reversed Maybe that maybe just not feeling the love. Or it's not like cutesy messages. It's not what they want to hear, possibly. What do they want from you? Two of swords. Oh boy. There's something you're not seeing. They want you to take the blindfold off. We'll get some clarity here in a minute. But there's something you're not seeing. What is the obstacle in this connection? Lack of communication. Lack of forward movement. Eight of Wands reversed. I don't think you guys are talking right now. This could potentially be why somebody's got a bad attitude. Silence. What can be done? Ace of Cups. Okay, well... Let's get some clarity. Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get some clarity on the cards on the table for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for August 2020, please? Why is the King of Pentacles here? Just one card, please.
Thanks. The Emperor. What was I just saying? Large, in charge, get your crap together. Your bills are paid. And maybe their bills are paid and they got a nice house. They got it together. I mean, things can be vice versa. Nice. You're, you're running your like running your life like you own it because well darn it you do okay or they do get back in there oh ten of pentacles you know what I'm gonna keep it I'm gonna keep it you feel like the dream the happy ending lies with them ten of pentacles why is the high priestess reversed here I have a jumper. Knight of Wands. Reversed. That's a card of commitment. Chariot. Five of, sword, five of Wands. Reversed. The connection isn't mutually felt. I think one or the other of you wants to commit, but the other of you is just, whoever doesn't want to commit, they're just trying to avoid confrontation. There may be a distance between you, like physical distance, emotional distance, maybe an age gap. There's something here. There's, there's something in regards to distance here. Okay. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Whoa! Two came flying out. Nine of Swords. Seven of Wands, both in the upright. Okay. What do you want from them, Scorpio? Potentially, you you think they have something going on internally, and you just want them to cut loose and let go. You want them to face their inner demons and just, just deal with them. This Nine of Swords, possibly they over, they're overthinking the situation. You want them to not overthink it? I mean, that's, that's what I'm getting out of that. Just let go. Just live in the moment. Okay, why is the Four of Swords here for how the other person feels about Scorpio? Oh, wow. Okay. Shadow side. Hanged man. There's definitely some kind of very strong pull. dealing with a heartbreak. There's an obsession issue. I don't want to say this could be potentially toxic, but somebody's definitely got some kind of weird hang up here. There could be addiction issues. Hmm. Somebody could be obsessed with sex. Don't worry, I'll throw the warning out. Huh, okay, weird. Why is the Page of Cups reverse here for what the other person thinks of Scorpio? That would explain the you know, lack of messages of love. Nine of Pentacles reverse codependency.
too many. You kind of stood apart, though. I'm going to keep you. Knight of Pentacles reversed. King of Wands. Yeah, there it is. It's not the cutesy stuff. It's a weird codependency thing. Why the Knight of Pentacles reversed? You want to talk. Temperance. That's strange. You all may not relate very well to each other. What the heck? Outside of the bedroom. Mm. Just throwing that out there. Mm. Hmm. Okay, weird. Just saying. Pull out without intention. I was looking at this one. Didn't say it. Why is the Two of Swords here? I got a Lovers. Knight of Cups. They want you to make a decision whether you want to run with this connection or give the cup to somebody else. This is Knight of Cups is not a committal cup. No. No. Hmm, okay. Well, obstacle, why is the eight of wands reversed here? Knight of Swords. Well, yeah. I think somebody's checking their phone a lot. Queen of Swords upright. <laughs> One more on that. Too many. Wow. One card, please. Just one. Okay, I'll take two, fine. Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. Somebody's always at work. Somebody's always at work, very work focused, or constantly putting work into the connection. Constantly trying to keep cups full. And the other person's like, I don't know. I don't know. Lack of communication, lack of forward movement, just stuck. Just stuck. Somebody could be spying on the other one, too. And someone could be very cold and very distant and very non-emotional. Hmm. Again, the, you don't relate so well outside of the bedroom. Been there. Alright, weird. Well, what can be done? Ace of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Page of Cups reversed. Oh, well. Take my cup elsewhere. Page of cups reversed, four of particles reversed, eight of wands in the upright. Release, let go, move forward. On to new things. Started out so good, too. Hmm. 
That's so strange. Scorpio, you think the world of this person. Why would they think... I don't know. Super weird. I mean, y'all could sit down and talk about it. You know. Do what you want. Could be an air sign you're dealing with. I got just about everybody on the board here. Huh. Alright, let's get your advice. Page of Pentacles upright. Queen of Pentacles. Sorry. Page of Pentacles reversed. Queen of Pentacles upright. Five of Swords, three of Pentacles. Okay. Do not rely on. someone else's praises for your own self-worth. Don't. Just don't. You don't need their pentacle. You got plenty of their, plenty of your own. You are a catch and you darn well know it. So if you never get an apology out of them, you're no less for wear and maintain that stance. Five of Swords in the upright, Three of Pentacles in the upright. One more set off of that. Fool in the Sun, okay. Pick up the pieces. Lay the foundation for something new and wonderful. Start trucking on your path to happiness and sunshine and bliss with or without them because darn it you know if you're not good enough for them okay fine you have plenty of your own pentacles you don't need theirs you don't star and the empress or comes first to the swords first. Six of swords reversed, seven of cups. Closing gaps, healing and growth, closing gaps, clearing one's head. Okay. Okay. It may be best to just kind of keep your distance for a while and not try to return to this until options are all clear. Okay. Until someone gets their cups in line, their cups in a row you will and decides what they want till someone is going through their healing process you could be the one who needs to heal they could be the one but this isn't going to grow until people decide exactly what they want because clearly y'all weren't like on the same page with this again it's going to be like the theme of the day because i just had this conversation with gemini And until thoughts are clear and you can walk back into the situation when you're not all wrapped up in it. Because it, sometimes you just need to take a step back to see things as they are. When you're standing in the middle of it, you have a horrible view of what's, ac what's actually going on. You can't see the cage from the inside of it, if that makes sense. Sometimes you just got to take a step back. It's healthy and it's okay and it, when and if you decide to return it's up to you but that's what I'm getting out of this sometimes when people aren't on the same page in a connection it's best not to hang on to it it's up to you all right Scorpio love you to bitch you're amazing
I think this one was really all about timing. I'm going to take off. Thanks for coming by. I miss you guys. I really do. Uh, it's a long road to health on this end of things, but I'm getting there. So I will catch you guys in a couple of weeks for your September reads. Bye for now.